Hello there, I'm Kafi Khan and welcome back to my Android tutorials. In the previous video, we saw how to populate the paired devices. In today's video, we'll see how to populate the available devices. So let's get started. So let's create a button to scan available devices. So coming to our device list activity and let's add that button in the menu. So let's create a menu file. So coming to resources menu, right click new and menu resource file. So let's call it menu device list. Let's hit the OK button. Let's switch to the text mode and close this. So let's add our menu item here. So let's give it a title and for that we'll need to add a string resource. So coming to strings.xml. So let's add the string here. So str menu scan devices. So scan devices. Coming back to our menu device list.xml. Let's pass that title here. So str menu and scan devices. Let's provide it with an icon. So let's see. So let's give it Bluetooth searching. Let's give it an ID. So menu scan devices. And we need to show this all the time. So show as action always. So we're good to go. Coming back to our device list.activity. So let's inflate this menu here. So on create options menu. So get menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu. Let's pass a menu file here. So menu device list and let's pass the instance of our menu. Okay, so let's add on click listener for our menu item. Options item selected. So switch item dot get item ID. So let's pass a case so r dot ID. So menu scan devices. Let's return true. Why? Because this function expects a boolean value. So let's define a default case. So let's paste it here and let's generate a toast. So toast.make text context and scan devices clicked. Let's pass the duration, then short, and let's call the show function. So for our app to be visible for other devices, we need to make our Bluetooth visible. So coming here, so coming to our enable Bluetooth function. So let's check if our device is not already visible. So if uh, Bluetooth adapter dot get scan mode is not equal to Bluetooth adapter dot scan mode connectable discoverable. So if our device is not visible, then we'll make it visible. So intent, let's call it discovery intent is equal to new intent Bluetooth adapter dot action request discoverable and discovery intent dot put extra. So Bluetooth adapter dot extra discoverable duration. Let's give it 300 seconds. So we want our device to be visible for next five minutes. So start activity and let's pass our intent, which is discoverable intent. Let's remove this from here. Let's just change it a bit. So if our device Bluetooth is not enabled, then let's enable and make it visible. Okay. So let's run our application and have a look. Okay. So let's click here. It shows an app wants to make your phone visible to other Bluetooth devices for 300 seconds. Let's allow. Let's click here and let's click here. It shows scan devices clicked. So coming back to our device list activity. So whenever we click this, we need to scan a device. Scan for more available devices. So let's create a small function. So private void scan devices. So before we scan, we need to show a progress bar. So coming to our device list activity.xml. So let's add a progress bar here. So with say 25 dp, height say 25 dp. Let's give it a layout gravity say center. Let's check the preview. Okay, it's visible here. So let's add an ID. So progress scan devices and let's hide it for now. So visibility gone. Coming back to our Java file, we need instance of that progress bar. So let's add here. So progress bar, let's call it progress scan devices. So coming here, let's initialize it. So progress scan devices is equal to find view by ID, R dot ID and progress scan devices. Okay. And when I click on this search scan devices, let's make it visible. So progress scan devices dot set visibility and visible. Okay. And whenever we scan, we need to hide all the available devices. 
so that you know we can get the latest devices which are currently available so adapter available devices dot clear so this will remove all the devices already present in the available adapter so let's add a toast here so toast dot make text context let's show a message that scan started and let's provide the duration so then short and call the show function so coming down here let's check if our bluetooth adapter is discovering that means if you are currently looking for available devices if that's true then let's stop that so bluetooth adapter dot cancel delivery cancel discovery and let's discover it again so bluetooth adapter dot start discovery so let's call this function here let's remove this toast and scan devices so now what will this will do is it will scan for all the available devices nearby so we need a mechanism to listen to these incoming devices so let's define a broadcast receiver so coming here so private broadcast receiver let's call it bluetooth device listener is equal to new broadcast receiver let's put a semicolon here so now that we've got the action let's check what's our current action so if bluetooth device dot action found equals our current action so what we want to do is get that bluetooth device so bluetooth device let's call it device is equal to so intent dot get parcelable extra and the string name is bluetooth device dot extra device so we've got the found device so let's check if it's not a paired device if not then let's add it to the available devices adapter so if device dot get bond state is not equal to bluetooth device dot bond bonded if that's the case let's add it to the available adapter so adapter available devices dot add so device dot get name next line and let's add the address okay okay let's check one more thing so bluetooth adapter dot action discovery finished equals our action that means the discovering of the devices is finished so we'll check if our adapter available devices dot get count is equal to is equal to zero so we'll generate a toast that context no new devices found let's provide the duration so then short and let's call the show function else if some device is found then we'll generate a toast what make text so context click on the device to start the chat let's provide the duration so then short and let's call the show function and one more thing so once the discovery is finished we need to hide a progress bar so progress scan devices dot set visibility and gone so we need to register this broadcast receiver so let's do that so coming here so let's create an intent filter so intent filter let's call it intent filter is equal to new intent filter so bluetooth device dot action found and let's add another intent filter so intent filter let's call it intent filter one new intent filter and bluetooth adapter dot action discovery finished so these are the two events which we are looking for so register receiver let's use a broadcast receiver here which was bluetooth device listener and let's call our intent filter here similarly let's register this one also so register receiver and bluetooth device listener and our intent filter one so we've created a broadcast receiver to listen to discovered devices and we've registered them using an intent filter so let's run our application and have a look well let's check it out so coming here let's scan so it says scan started and we can see our progress bar and now as you can see it is adding available devices whatever is found nearby so we've got oneplus and sushio kumar mi something and charge 2 and it says click on the device to start the chat
Well, that's how we scan for available devices. So if you have any doubts, any queries so far, feel free to drop a comment and we'll go through it. See you in the next video and bye-bye.